So this is basically what you receive um, if you buy the full Okapi 2 wireless system. So you get the, the control box, 2 amp power supply, there is 2 wires uh, which run to the fan, um, give you the full control of the fan and the sensors. There are 7 core wires. This wire is for the first heater and the second wire which is uh, 4 feet long is for the second heater. For the first wire you have 2 feet in length, green, white, connection here with the sensor and you want to mount that behind the fan not too close to the barrel because there will be a stagnant airflow there and same for the second heater you mount the sensor which is on the white green wire pair behind the second fan the second sensor for each heater is on a nine foot long extension cord and you mount this simply put it inside the inlet of the solar collector so it can monitor the temperature of the convected air prior to the fan switching on and once the fan is on it monitors the room temperature and it's the same for the second collector sensor wire so that's a nine foot long extension put this into the inlet at the top and it monitors the temperature of the convected air as the collector is warming up and once the temperature is sufficiently warmed, the fans will switch on and that becomes a room temperature sensor. If you wanted to test the Akapi out of the box, you can do that quite simply with a smartphone. Smartphone's obviously not included in the package. To connect your Akapi 2 Bluetooth system using a, an Android smartphone or tablet, it's a simple process of using the Akapi Solar Calculator app, which you'll have downloaded from the Google Play Store. In the smartphone you go to settings, Bluetooth, scan, look for ABBTM, which is the Akapi system, tap on that, enter the pin code 0000, that's now paired, so you open up the Okapi Solar Calculator app, go to connect, Look for the ABBTM module, tap connect, and there you can see the data from the Akapi system. So we have heater 1 and heater 2, inlet temperature, outlet temperature, and the ambient temperature. And we can test the unit. We just hold the outlet temperature sensor between your thumb and finger. The unit's very sensitive, so it's detected a temperature rise between the inlet and the outlet and switch the fan on at a low speed immediately and you should be able to see that on the app so you see at fan speed 26% and it's determined that there's probably around 20 watts of output at that speed alright thanks for watching and if you'd like to review the data that we've captured from our own solar heaters that we installed on our home you can visit our website and we've posted all that information there for you